will be working will be working with stakeholders to document a national policy for such children. It will focus on areas of supporting, protecting, and caring for children. And further, the Family Commission, in collaboration with the Child Care Protection Agency, will create family-friendly and educationally interactive child-friendly spaces at which there will also be support for families with children who have developmental disabilities. Finance Minister Winston Jordan, the awareness of children who suffer abuse will be curtailed. An early national childhood developmental sensitization for parents and guardians will be launched by the Child Care and Protection Agency to provide the skills needed for early learning. Children who are institutionalized will be given the opportunity to return to a safe caring home or be given the opportunity to be in a family-like setting. Mr. Speaker, I propose the following specific measures in support of the elderly segment of our population. One, I propose to increase the pensions payable to ex-employees of Ghana Telecommunications Corporation. These pensioners have waged a prolonged struggle to get their correct pension, but were denied by the past regime. The increases will be effective from April 1, 2016. Effective April 1, 2016, old age pension will increase from $17,000 to $18,200. <laughs> nearly nearly 50,000 pensioners are expected to benefit. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in the short space of eight months, this coalition government has been able to increase old age pension by 38.7%. The largest increase in recent memory and a testimony to our commitment to govern in the interest of all Guyanese. Senior citizens care has also been highlighted in the budget. 50,000 pensioners will benefit from an old age pension increase to $18,200 as against the $17,000 they're receiving. Government will continue efforts to fully integrate persons with disabilities into our society and provide them with the care and attention they deserve. As such, the government has embarked upon several initiatives, such as the Ramps and Yellow Border Project, which entails the installation of ramps and stair lifts at public and private buildings and painting yellow borders on stairs to guide the visually impaired. The old age pension will be modernized as systems will be put in place to ensure that it is done electronically to ease the burdens of traveling for some seniors who are unable to collect their pension. This will be implemented in all of the regions by 2017. Public assistance has also increased from $6,500 to $7,300 and over 9,000 persons will benefit from an almost 23% increase since government took office. Mr. Speaker, as a nation, we are traumatized by the high incidence of suicide. We are alarmed by the number of maternal and infant deaths, many of them avoidable. We are concerned about the lack of attention paid by many of our citizenry to adopting a healthy lifestyle in the face of chronic non-communicable diseases. We are acutely aware of the recent emerging and now present threat of the H1N1 and Zika viruses, among others. Together, these place on due burdens on our health care system, which is already stretched in the effort to deliver universal health care coverage and attain our targets within goal three of the Sustainable Development Goals. This year, the Social Protection Ministry will be issuing a one-year public assistance booklet to persons with permanent disabilities.